Hey guys, Wats has appeared, and I want to make this quick tutorial on how to make a po uh, Digimon, excuse me, a Digiwatch in Black Ops Digivice. And yeah, here we go. First, we start off with a basic square that will represent the screen. Generally, I prefer to keep it, I guess, a sort of minty, minty green color just for the sake of uh, making it appear blank since... Judging by how many layers that this that this uh, emblem takes up, we won't be able to put anything on the screen. Uh, then we end up picking up a circle and forming that around the square so that it looks it gives more, I guess, to the three D quote quote unquote three D effect to it, and just wrap it tightly around the corners, but not too tight that it overlaps. Right here you can see that I'm trying to balance it out as best I can. And then we'll follow that up with um, another circle behind that. And I believe that this will be at layer 6, yeah. And the reason for that is because I want to save room for the buttons afterwards, which I will begin on after this circle. This circle is particularly important if you want to keep a 3D effect within it. And that will be ultimately, I guess, uh, it's very important that you keep it a lighter shade than the, I mean, a darker shade, excuse me, from the rest of the Digivice just for the sake of, um, you know, just for the sake of the 3D effect, like I said before, to make it appear different. And I, and later on, I make sure to fix that uh, mistake that I made and make it a shade lighter. I wasn't really comfortable with that shade after introducing these buttons like I do right here. And here we have to align the buttons exactly. As you can see, now I'm starting to have trouble dealing with the color that I selected for the outer circle. And that's why I'm attempting to fix the buttons, as it were. But ultimately, yeah, this is all part of the process. You can adjust accordingly to however you feel like. I ch tend to make my digivices smaller than the general uh, area that they give you throughout the uh, throughout the basic, um, I guess, area limit for your gun. I don't know why it's. The way it is, but personally, I would have preferred a rectangle as opposed to the allowed square. But what are you gonna do? And as you can see, I just barely changed the circle to a more suitable nature, and now I'm just adjusting the colors as I try to make it seem like more of a tie feel. If you you should probably remember tie from Digimon if you're bothering to watch this commentary at all and now to create the uh buttons all i needed to do was um duplicate them i think i end up making them a tad smaller than i initially than as i initially show right now excuse me i need to take a drink of water I lied, I drink Dr. Pepper, and I drink very loudly, as all of my friends tell me. But now we begin the tricky slash easy part, which is to replicate the rest of the Digivice. And to do this, we use the, I believe it's the angled shield. And for the angled shield, we need about four of these puppies. And we need to fix them accordingly due to the fact that the Digivice is bow-shaped, the outer, the outer, uh, I guess, the side angles have to be a tad, a tad larger than the initial, um, side, uh, sides, than the initial top and bottom, excuse me. And, yeah, and then we add an another duplicate right about here as soon as I'm fixed with the third one. And one of the ultimate problems that I have with this design is that due to the fact that there are uh, three buttons, two on one side and one on the other, it's hard to really get an accurate um, balance between the two, between the uh, two sides, which can be a bit strenuous if you are a 
as much of a perfectionist as I am. And speaking of perfectionism, I want I wanted all of my life to get rid of this lisp ever since uh, I've had it since I was a kid, and it frustrates me. <laughs> Sorry, a bit off subject, but now I'm just making the finishing touches, making it more accurate. And I believe before that, before it's finished, we add one last touch, and that is the joystick. And I cut out like three minutes of footage of me trying to find the joystick because... I'm an impatient man. I do not have patience. <laughs> and, yeah, and that about solves your Digivice problem, and I'm sure that you would like to work and to use it for your own purposes and to, and to, I guess, show off your inner nerd and also show your support for YouTube and even me if you want to, and Digimon, of course, let's not forget that. And that about wraps up this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you start, I guess, carrying this thing around as your emblem. And yeah, a, a wild Silas appeared. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.